Good morning, kindergarten friends. I wonder if you can guess what story I'm going to read today. I've got my antenna on, and yes, you guessed it. Ladybugs. We're going to read about ladybugs today. This is another nonfiction book because it's got real pictures in it and some information about ladybugs, which are actually beetles. Okay, Ladybugs by Melvin and Gilda Berger. Here's the title page. Ladybug, Ladybug, how do you do? Ladybug, Ladybug, show me your wings. Ladybug, Ladybug, show me your legs. Fun fact, ladybugs are small flying insects with six legs. Ladybug, Ladybug, show me your spots. Ladybug, Ladybug, show me your colors. You can see there's different colors in this book of ladybugs. There's red ones and yellow ones. Fun fact, ladybugs have from two to 16 spots and come in many colors. I wonder, boys and girls, if ladybugs have even numbered spots on them. I wonder if you might be able to research that. Ladybug, ladybug, what do you eat? Ladybug, ladybug, who wants to eat you? So it looks like ladybugs eat little other bugs, and it looks like frogs will want to eat ladybugs. Ladybug, ladybug, lay eggs on a leaf. Fun fact, ladybugs lay a few eggs at a time. And they're so small. Isn't that interesting? Ladybug, ladybug, your eggs will soon hatch. I'm wondering if you are making a text-to-text -text connection with the butterfly life cycle. Hmm. Ladybug, ladybug, keep warm in the winter. Ladybug, ladybug, wake up in the spring. So we look here, fun fact, ladybugs huddle together to keep warm in cold weather. Ladybug, ladybug, where do you live? Ladybugs live almost everywhere. Ladybug, ladybug, come visit me. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. So today, boys and girls, we're going to make our own ladybug. And I'm going to show you how to make this craft at home. And hopefully you will have some of the uh, materials in your house to do this with either red paper or paper plates. We have several different ways to do it. So I will show you how to do that next. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a ladybug. I have three different types here which you can use different materials at home. I have some red paper, some black paper, and some wax paper or parchment paper. You may have that in your kitchen for cooking. Or we could make a ladybug with two paper plates. So I'm gonna show you three different variations of how you can make this ladybug. The first way is that you're going to take the black paper and the red paper and I had I have two pieces of it here so I'm gonna just cut a circle out of the red and the black I'm gonna make this one kind of small and you'll notice I said in the other video that these are ladybugs that my children made when they were in kindergarten so um, three different ways of doing this. We did it different each year. So I've got a red piece and a black piece that are the same size, which will be the body of the ladybug. And I can take the wax paper and also, because they have this thin little uh, wing underneath their red wing, so this is kind of like that, which makes it kind of fun and make another circle. I could have cut this all together so it would be exactly the same size, but we will do our best. So then to have two wings, I'm just gonna cut this circle up, oh, boys and girls, and I'm gonna make it symmetrical. I'm gonna fold it in half and make it the same on both sides. So fold it in half, and it makes it a symmetrical shape. It's now a half circle, looks like a taco. 
and then when I open it up, it's a full circle. So I'm going to cut along the line and make my wings. And then I can attach my wings with a staple at the top. Boom. Now, ladybugs have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three on each side, and I need a head. So I'm gonna go back to my black piece of paper, and I'm gonna make a head to attach. And then I'm going to make, could even make little antenna. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna add to this and make this one even better. I'm gonna make my antenna attached. And it doesn't matter what shape it is here because I'm gonna just staple it right underneath. And there's the head. Now, I'm gonna make legs. So, you can decide how long you want your legs to be. Notice that all three of my ladybugs are different. This one is made with brads that move, similar to this one, six legs. One was made by Bella, one was made by Cisa, and this one made by Jan, he painted two paper plates, cut it in half, and then glued the legs on the back. And you can see his name. Jan is now 26 years old. This is 26, well, 21 years old when he was in kindergarten. And notice how he made his ladybug head very small with the antenna. So you could paint two paper plates and do the same thing and put your spots on. So let's do the legs. All right, let's not get confused here. All right, so I've got some black paper here. It's not all perfect, but that's okay. I'm gonna make my legs kind of wide. So I've got one, two, and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a third, third set, and these shapes are gonna be symmetrical also. I'm gonna cut them in half. See, they're one big rectangle. Now I'm gonna fold it in half. It's a symmetrical shape like we learned with butterflies. So we're learning about symmetry. Now I've got six legs and I'm gonna attach them to the back of my ladybug. I'm gonna use staples, but you guys could use um, glue to do this. I'm gonna use staples to do it just to make it faster. And then we're gonna put some spots on. Now you get a choice. You can either color spots on with your markers or you could paint them on with black paint if you wanna get the paints out or you could um, cut out circles from your extra black paper. So if you don't have black paper at home, what can you do, friends? You could color a white piece of paper black. You could color a white piece of paper red. And you can make your ladybug by coloring your paper yourself or painting paper plates. So up to you. So now I have three legs on each side, and I'm going to do symmetrical dots also. So I am going to... I'm gonna glue them on. I'm just deciding right here, right now, instead of coloring. So I'm gonna cut out some circles from my black paper, and I'm gonna just add them, add my dots to my ladybug, and I'm gonna do them the same on each side. And notice how I'm cutting two at a time. I'm saving a little time here. That's also another trick that you could do. So remember, ladybugs have two, four, six, or eight spots on them from our poem. I'm gonna have how many, friends? Two, four. I might make some more. You guys get to choose how many you want to make on your ladybug because it's your own artwork. I hear Brahma snoring over there. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to have six. 
and there's my ladybug. So remember, you don't have to do the wax paper, but you can. That's an option. Make your antenna. You could also make your ladybug with two painted plates. Jan even folded his legs to make them accordion. And remember, insects have six legs. They have a body and a head. So they usually have a thorax, a body, and a head, an abdomen. So have fun making your ladybugs, friends.